couple different methods for how to simplify a square root. So for our example, we're going to simplify the square root of 24. So our first method we're going to look at is listing all the factors out. So I'm going to list its factor pairs. The first one is 1 times 24. 1 times 24 equals 24. Next factor pair, 2 goes into 24, 2 times 12. 3 goes into 24, 3 times 8. 4 goes into 24, 4 times 6. Um, 5 does not go into 24, 6 we already have in the list, so we are done. We listed all of the factors of 24. Now, we're going to think which of those numbers is a perfect square. Remember, this is how you get your perfect squares. So I'm going to just go down my list. 24 is obviously not a perfect square, it's not on this list. 2 is not a perfect square. 12 is not a perfect square. 3, not a perfect square. 8, not a perfect square. 4 is. So we're going to use 4. So I'm going to circle this factor pair. Now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite 24, the square root of 24, using the factor pair. 24 is 4 times 6. Next thing we're going to do is rewrite this as 2 square root. We're going to say this is equal to the square root of 4 times the square root of 6. Then we know that the square root of 4 is equal to 2 because 2 times 2 is 4. So our answer is going to be 2 times the square root of 6. So listing all the factors is one way to find the simplification of the square root of 24. So now we're going to look at another way. So here's the next method for simplifying a square root. This is prime factorization. So what you're going to do is take 24 and break it down. 24 could be broken down as 2 times 12. 2 is prime, so I'm going to leave that too. 12 could go further. 12, you could break down. There's different options you have here. You could do 4 times 3. If you do 4 times 3, 3 is a prime number, but 4 can be broken down further. 4 could be broken down as 2 times 2. Again, 2 is a prime number. So what I just showed is that 24 can be written in prime factorization as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So what I'm going to do is take that square root of 24 and rewrite it using the prime factorization. So this is equal to the square root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Now you're going to look, do any of those prime factors repeat? The 2's repeat, so that means you could pull that 2 out in front. So this would be 2 square root. Oh, the 2 and the 3 at the end do not repeat, so we're going to just multiply. 2 times 3 is 6, so your answer is 2 times the square root of 6. So again, please note we get the same answer as we did when we listed out all the factors. So now let me show you a third way to simplify. So here's method three. This way you're going to focus on the perfect squares and say which perfect square is a factor of the square root of 24. So what you're going to look at your list of perfect squares, 24 falls between 16 and 25. And then you're going to look, okay, can you take 24 and divide it by 16 to get a whole number? No, you can't. Could you do 24 divided by 9? and get a whole number, that won't be a whole number, so nine's not a factor. Can you do 24 divided by six, or sorry, by four? Yes, you can, and you get six. So four is the perfect square that's a factor of 24. So I'm gonna box that in right there so you can keep track of it. So I'm going to factor 24 as four times six. Four times six. Then I'm going to rewrite this as two square roots, the square root of four times the square root of six. 
Then I'm going to evaluate the square root. That's a perfect square. The square root of 4 is equal to 2. The square root of 6 is not a perfect square, so I'm going to leave that as the square root of 6. And there is my answer. So again, I've shown you three different ways, three different methods for simplifying the square root. Um, if you have a preference as to which one you use, you're more than welcome to use it. All three methods work.